Hello, my name is Kastudis and today we will be learning how to host a website. A great starting point for getting your website online is understanding web hosting. In essence, web hosting is exactly the thing that enables a website to be published online. A web hosting company provides its services by running and maintaining servers. These are computers that are always on and connected to the internet. When purchasing web hosting services, you essentially run some space on the server to contain your website. Now knowing that a server is just a computer that's constantly running, couldn't you just set one up for yourself from the comfort of your own home? The answer is yes, though it would require quite a bit of technical knowledge to set up and maintain everything, not to mention all the extra hardware costs and the increased electricity bill. That is where web hosting companies such as Hostinger come in. A good web hosting company will be there for you to take care of all the technical details such as hardware and infrastructure maintenance, software updates, and security monitoring. This allows you to focus your attention on your website's visual appearance and content instead of its technical aspects. So adding everything up, going with a web hosting company is more often than not the more cost-effective option to bring your website online especially considering the extra benefits that you get with a good host, such as having access to round-the-clock customer assistance and useful web design and maintenance content. When it comes to choosing which web hosting company to go with, you have quite a few options available. So let me tell you what details you should pay attention to to make the right choice. When researching web hosting providers, there are a few key points that you should look into, such as reliable performance. One of the most important and immediately obvious things that your website's visitors encounter is loading time. If your website is not lighting fast and you're trying to sell something on it, there's a high chance that it will hurt your conversion rate. Furthermore, good website performance is essential for your search engine optimization. For example, Google tends to rank well-performing websites higher on their search results, and better rankings are one of the best ways of increasing organic traffic to your website. One of the better ways to check if your web host offers reliable performance is to see whether they provide some sort of an uptime guarantee. You can also use website speed testing tools such as GT Metrics as they provide an in-depth look into the website's performance. Guaranteed security. Once your website is online, it can be prone to cyber attacks. While there are definitely best security practices that you would need to follow from a web development point of view, a great hosting provider can help you out with access to regular updates and backups, SSL certificates, firewall protection, and secure content delivery network services such as Cloudflare. Next up is comprehensive features. A good feature set provided by your web host can go a very long way in ensuring you have the most comfortable website hosting experience. For example, here are some awesome features that a web hosting service can provide. Let's start with the 30-day money-back guarantee. Having this feature is crucial as it allows you to try out the web hosting services without the risk of spending your money on something that doesn't fit your needs. Other super useful features include free website transfers, domain name registration, email hosting, automated website backups, and software integrations with various content management systems such as WordPress. Let's continue to user experience. There's a really high chance that you will constantly be interacting with your web hosting provider's control panel to manage your website. That is exactly why it is so important that it's well designed and easy to use. Look for a demo version of the control panel that the host provides so that you can have a first-hand experience of how everything feels. Value for money. In addition to web hosting services, there are other expenses that can come up when it comes to getting your website online. A good example of this is domain name registration, SSL certificates, email services, and backups. Checking if these are already included in the hosting package or if they come with an additional expense is the best way to ensure that you're getting a good deal. A telltale sign of a good deal is 24-7 customer support. You never know when your website could run into a critical issue and having round-the-clock customer support to have your back is a surefire way you can sort it out as soon as possible. Support resources that you should look into are active customer assistance channels, tutorials, and even a live chat feature. Once you have all of these bases covered, scalability is another thing that you should take into consideration. A successful web project will grow over time and as such you can expect it to require more web hosting resources further down the line. A scalable web host service will allow for sustainable long-term growth, as these resources can be graded gradually as your website grows larger. Most web hosting providers offer more than one type of hosting. 
Let's run through the main categories of hosting found on Hostinger and other hosting providers to get a better understanding of what each of them are for. One of the most popular options is shared hosting. With shared hosting, your website essentially shares the resources of the server with websites hosted by other people. The upside of this is that shared hosting is extremely affordable compared to other hosting options. The downside, however, is that your website's performance can be affected by other users using the same server. Taking all of this into consideration, shared hosting is a great option if you're just starting out and expect your web project to get to low to medium traffic. Next up is VPS Hosting. VPS, which stands for Virtual Private Server, works by dividing the system resources of one physical server into a few virtual ones, which are then accessed by the users. On Hostinger, VPS services give you more freedom to choose what operating system you would like them to run. That is because they do not use HPanel, which is what you will get with most of the other hosting plans on the platform. Alongside being able to choose what OS you would like to run, you are also given root access. In essence, this means that if you have the technical know-how, VPS services leave room for more flexibility in terms of what kind of online projects you can host. One example of this is video game servers. This freedom can be viewed as both a pro and a con, since if you already have the necessary technical knowledge, you will be able to take full advantage of it. Otherwise, learning everything you need to know to get your VPS set up and going can be a bit of an unnecessary hassle if all you want to do is get your website online. If VPS is too complicated and shared hosting is too limited for your performance need, cloud hosting is the way to go. With cloud hosting on Hostinger, you get the dedicated expansive resources akin to a VPS with the ease of use and management provided by the HPanel. If you decide to build your website using one of the world's most popular website building platforms called WordPress, you can also consider managed WordPress hosting plans. In terms of system resources, different dedicated WordPress hosting packages can be compared to shared as well as cloud plans. Another detail that all three of these categories share is that they all use HPanel. Having that in mind, while you would still be able to host non-WordPress websites on these hosting plans, there are special optimizations implemented to boost WordPress performance. Since HPanel is developed by Hostinger, extreme care has been put into designing it for the smoothest user experience, although it is not the only option that you have when it comes to choosing how you interact with your hosting plan. Other such option would be cPanel. Hostinger's dedicated cPanel plans can be compared to shared hosting in terms of performance. You also have the option to set up cPanel on a VPS, although in that case you would need to purchase the cPanel license separately. That covers the main types of hosting plans that most providers offer. Since there are quite a few options, picking the one that best fits you can seem a bit difficult. If that's the situation that you find yourself in, my recommendation would be to contact your chosen hosting provider before carrying through with the purchase. In this scenario, they could provide you with some recommendations tailored specifically for you. Having so many options is another reason why the 30-day money-back guarantee is so important as it eliminates the risk of being stuck with a hosting plan that doesn't suit your needs. Once you have an active hosting plan, the next step of getting your website online is acquiring a domain name. A domain name is what you type in your browser's address bar when you want to visit a website. A unique domain name is required for every website, and having one that's catchy and easy to remember is a key factor in your website's growth. You will not be able to change your domain name after you register it, so let me share with you some tips and tricks to get the best name for your website. First, I suggest surveying popular keywords and search terms for your branding or business. Incorporating them in your domain name can be an amazing method to make your website's address more memorable. You can even use one of the many available domain name generators to help you out with this process. Checking out the domain names of other websites, you will notice that they are made out of two parts. Let's take a look at Hostinger.com as an example. Hostinger is the first part and the website's name, and .com is the second part which is known as the domain extension. There are different extensions that you are able to use, though my recommendation is to stick with a .com, as it's the most popular and can help communicate your website's credibility. Besides using the .com domain extension, the most popular websites use domain names that are short and simple, which is exactly what you want to aim for when figuring out what domain would fit your website. Once you come up with a suitable domain name, the last couple of things that you should do is checking whether the name is not tied to any other company or brand, as well as if it has not yet already been registered by somebody else. Checking if a domain name is available to be registered can be done using an online domain name checker, a link to which you will find in the description. 
One thing to know here is that your hosting plan and your domain name registration don't necessarily need to be purchased from the same place. For example, with your hosting or hosting, you are free to use the domain name purchased elsewhere. This works the other way around too. You can register a domain name with Hostinger and use it somewhere else. Having said that, if both of your hosting plan and the domain name are purchased in one place, managing everything does become a bit easier. Especially considering that many Hostinger plans already include a free domain name registration when signing up for 12 or more months. And that covers the basics of how to get your website hosted. If you decide to go with Hostinger as your hosting provider, be sure to use the coupon code HA10 for an additional discount. If you found this video helpful, you can let me know by clicking the like button. I would love to see what kind of ideas you have for your website, so share them in the comment section below. Consider subscribing if you'd like to see more web hosting related content. For now, I wish you best of luck in your online journey.